In this video, what we're going to see is a patient getting their blood pressure measured. Um, the first step in measuring the blood pressure is selecting the appropriate cuff size. So a lot of times if we have the wrong cuff size, we won't get an accurate reading. Once the cuff is in place, the pharmacist will take their stethoscope and place it over that brachial artery right there at the joint of the elbow. Then they will start to inflate the cuff. The cuff needs to be generally inflated uh, uh, up above what the normal blood pressure reading would be. So if we don't know what it is for a patient, we need to test it one time to see about what that cutoff line would be, and then we'll go up above it the next time to get a more accurate reading. Then as it starts to come down, we'll release pressure from that bladder valve in the cuff, and we listen through the stethoscope for certain sounds. The first one will be at what measurement do we start to hear a heartbeat again through the stethoscope. That will be our systolic blood pressure, which is the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart is pumping. If we continue to gradually decrease the pressure in the cuff, we still listen for each heartbeat until we cannot hear a heartbeat again. And once we lose the heartbeat, that's going to be our diastolic blood pressure or the blood pressure when the heart is at rest. So those are the two numbers that we lis listen for through the stethoscope while we're measuring the blood pressure. Generally, sitting down for a few minutes is one way to lower the blood pressure and help someone stabilize or normalize. If it's still cr uh, consistently high, that person will need to be referred to a primary care physician because they will likely need to take steps to lower their blood pressure on a daily basis. Now, those steps to lower blood pressure may include changes in diet, in exercise and sleep habits, reduction of salt intake, or medication therapy if necessary.